Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from Paul Gale Network. We're ready to watch this Nintendo Switch Nindy Showcase. Let's do this. Good morning. I am Dr. J.M. Lounsbury from the Ministry of Drink and Health Regulation. While many working adults start their day with coffee, we recommend switch to milk to complete your regimen of nutrifying activity. If you are making the switch, a very great annoyance which occurs often with milk occurs during the pouring of it. If you tackle a particularly vicious pour without taking the proper care, you are bound to splash all over. Your whole day is ruined. To demonstrate proper pouring technique, I shall apply my face protector. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Weird. Now the optimal way to pour milk is to raise the pouring container and angle it at no more than 45 degrees positively as you approach your drinking vessel. I will now begin to pour. Top head. Ha. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Wow. Thursday, April 18th. No, you're not dreaming. Cuphead is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. You can thank Studio NDHR for making their award-winning game so special, and our friends at Microsoft for helping us bring it to even more players. As fans know, poor Cuphead made a deal with the devil, and now the beast is coming for his head. That's pretty cool. In this run-and-gun action game, you'll dodge fire and dish out your own, whether you play solo or invite a buddy along for the ride. Those gorgeous hand-drawn cell animations rendered in classic 1930 style look as good as ever. And the live jazz soundtrack by Christopher Madigan will still charm and haunt you in the best of ways. You'll see why when Cuphead launches on Nintendo Switch April 18th. It's available for pre-purchase today. Super cool. Cuphead's a great game. That's awesome. I'm Tony Scott, your friendly neighborhood indie guy. And I'm Bobby. Kate Casper, the friendly gamer. Thank you for joining us. We showcase upcoming games in our first indie showcase of 2019. We couldn't wait to share the news about Cuphead, and we're just getting started. While we are honored to bring you game series like Super Mario and The Legend of Zelda, there are many other worlds to explore. Created by our talented indie partners, these games embody the quality of curation that fans have come to expect on Nintendo Switch. That's right, Kirk. Developers across the globe have embraced Nintendo Switch, and they have plenty more unique experiences to share with everyone. Whether it's building a kingdom, vanquishing angels and demons, or just kicking back and tending a farm, games make our dreams a reality. With so much available on Nintendo Switch already, we're delighted to show you that there's even more great indie content on the way there this year. See for yourself. First up is Overland. A new take on the end of the world narrative from the creator of Channel Ball, Adam Saltzman. Not to mention the gorgeous award-winning visuals by Heather Penn and the haunting original soundscape by Jocelyn Rays. It's a squad-focused, turn-based strategy game for your face with difficult choices. Will you search for supplies? Heal a wounded ally? Fight off a monster? Rescue a helpless stranger? Save your dog? Please save the dog. You can't do it all, so choose your actions wisely as your band of friends road trips across the United States. Sounds easy, right? Well, there's a catch. The farther west you go, the weirder things get. Plus, all levels, roadmaps, and characters are randomly generated, so every playthrough offers a fresh take on this perilous journey. Travel the post-apocalyptic roads of Overland when it comes to Nintendo Switch this fall. That's cool. One man is prepared to destroy anyone in his sight using moves reminiscent of a violent ballet, all while guided by a self-aware banana named Pedro. That looks pretty sweet. Using his arsenal of absolutely crazy skills, you'll battle through the violent underworld of Old Town, Fist of right, cool. and beyond. Go full throttle with all your weapons wow. and your body, jumping, flipping, and swinging while putting the drop on your enemies. Since you'll be running and gunning, there's bound to be chaos. Slow things down by shifting into slow motion to pace your actions and dual wield. That's got some cool style. 
My friend Pedro drops in as a console exclusive for Nintendo. Nice! Exclusive. <laughs> I dig it. In the emotional survival game Neocab, fulfilling your job as a rideshare driver is the only way you might reunite with your best friend Sammy, who's wanted by Kappa, an omnipresent mega corporation. In this dystopic future, you are the last human driver in a city overrun by automation. As you navigate the streets of the fictional California city Los Ojos, you'll meet a diverse cast of characters, each with their own story arc. Mm. Your choices, like picking passengers, balancing your income, sustaining a positive rating, and managing your emotions with a fuel grid system. It's crazy tax for 2019. <laughs> to keep your job and trust your friend. Oh, and don't forget, Capra is watching. Neocab is scheduled to arrive on Nintendo Switch this summer. You know, I've always wanted to lead a pack of dogs in the wilderness. This next game will be as close as I ever get. Let's check in with Lindsay Roskell, the game's director. The Iditarod dog sled race is a grueling thousand mile journey embarked upon by teams of dogs and mushers of all ages, genders, and skill levels every year. Anyone can win, but many are just trying to finish, trying to prove to themselves that they can do it. As game director at Timberline Studio, I became fascinated, and some might say a little bit obsessed, with this idea. We knew we wanted to tell a story in the world of dog sledding. And while I don't intend to race in the real Iditarod anytime soon, we're thrilled and a little bit nervous to reveal our debut title, The Red Lantern. Do you have those moments that stick out in your mind? When I was a kid, I was told, well, you do, so choose wisely. I could be an astronaut, a CEO, a painter, a doctor. I could be anything. Hi, I'm supposed to achieve great things. Unfortunately, you are also your mistakes. And it turns out they tend to remember those more. Hi, I'm a disappointment. So I've decided to become something else. Something that can't be forgotten. I've got a plan. Japan, Little Jobs, Little Alaska, race in the United Rod Dog Sled Race, and fish. Nothing could take that with me. And things we're going to plan. Dogs, sled. On the way. This looks unique. However, things tend to go to plan. I don't mean to crew of dogs navigate the Alaskan wilderness to wow. find your way home. Combining roguelike elements into this story-driven adventure game, hundreds of unique events can occur. Tend to your dogs, mend your own wounds, and hunt to survive. Thanks to the Nintendo Switch system gyro controls, you can look around the environment with a simple turn of the system in handheld mode. The Red Lantern races on the Nintendo Switch. Hey, sign me up! That's cool! That's that's unique, man. I like that one. Kitty, but when I play horror games, I jump a lot. Fortunately, Darkwood is going for that slow burn on the scary end. Don't get me wrong, Darkwood will keep you nine minutes in and changing your perspective got some good stuff on the horror games. Craft weapons, prepare traps, fortify hideouts. You'll explore and scavenge the eerie forests of the Soviet bloc by day, then hunker down in your hideout at night. With nightmarish forces corrupting the woods, wait and pray for the sun to come up the next morning. The world of Darkwood is procedurally generated. Locations and events will vary for each playthrough and player. There's no linear path in these woods, so proceed with caution and know each decision will impact you and the inhabitants of Darkwood. Darkwood creeps on the Nintendo Switch this May. This next game has both style and substance, Katana Zero. 
You play as a well-trained assassin, the dragon, capable of instantly taking out any obstacles in your path. Sweet. Mysterious powers and precognition allow you to both see the future cool. and manipulate time. As you cut through each level, you'll leave no bleeding bodies behind. I must recommend Poncho, though, since your foes can return the favor by eliminating you. Pretty old single. school looking, but sweet. Don't fret. Nice the game literally rewinds to the beginning of each level for you to learn and improve. Yes, that should work. After a hard-fought mission, sip some tea and try to rest. The next day, you'll take a seat on the therapist's couch and talk through your demons. Of course, make sure to get a much-needed refill of your medication before the next mission. Now, we'll before, see a Streets of Rage 4 today. And remember, Leave no survivors. Katana Zero Katana Zero's waiting cool. Nintendo Switch April 18th. Man, it's available for good. pre-purchase today. This next game is pretty Wait! Let's save that joke for the developer. Wouldn't it be way cooler if they introduced the next game? Totally. So let's pass it over to our friends at Double Fine. Hi, I'm Lee Petty from Double Fine Productions, creator of Stacking and Headlander. And today, we're going to show you something that has never been seen before. All right, Brad, don't spoil it. Hmm. The world, twice destroyed, lies in ruin. to blossom again, and we must find the one who is Brad. Right. How big of the music? exactly what this is. Not only is Creature in the Well a world debut, it's also a top-down action-adventure game inspired by wow. the fine art of pinball. It all takes place in a desert, where a giant creature has entrapped townsfolk in an eternal sandstorm. As the last engineer tasked with powering up a giant weather machine, your mission is to finish the job That's once dope. and for all, before the world beyond the sandstorm is forgotten. Luckily, over 15 weapons are at your disposal, and each one has the power to alter the way you interact with the ricocheting energy orbs in your environment. That's just fun! The controls may be simple, but there's a deep well of skills to master across all eight handcrafted dungeons. While you fight for survival, savor every corner of this painterly world in all its pinball glory. When a creature in the well emerges from the depths this summer. 
betrayed and left for dead. Mr. Wolf finds himself alone, vastly outnumbered, and hell-bent on enacting his revenge. On the bright side, he's got grit in his gut and a wolf on his head. That means you don't mess with this guy. The world is his weapon, oh. and in this fast-paced, top-down action game from Paper Cult, it's yours too. So, choreograph the most spectacular combos you can, using everything from tactics to ladders to carrots. Your alternative? Basically, wow. death. Better improvised and fast, as our lone anti-hero, Mr. Wolf, that's sweet. his way to the very heart of the mystery that plagues him. Really cool style. Just how twisted this Western revenge love it. get when Bloodroot comes to Nintendo Switch this summer. Summer's looking good, too. Tribe, human tribe, crocodile tribe. Oh, they got wolves in there. Hmm. Interesting. A primal fantasy collides with the advanced game design of today in time. In this open world third person action adventure game, the world and your enemies will adapt to your choices. You'll travel to six diverse islands across miles of terrain and encounter five factions of creatures each in its realm of execution. The only way to prepare is to scavenge, barter, harvest, craft items, and sell them at the market to stock up on supplies. It'll be a true fight for survival behind those wild Nintendo Switch designs. Man, I love arcade games. But I'm thinking it's time to bring some more to Nintendo Switch. How about some games from Rami Ismail and Jan Dylan Neiman of the independent studio Blambeer? Yes. But the people want to know what games and when. You won't have to wait long to fight endless hordes of enemies because Super Crate Box is coming out next month. It'll be the first time players can engage in fast paced multiplayer matches. A feature that's exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version. Plus, Excellent. Nuclear Throne comes out today. It's an action roguelike about mutants who spend their days fighting for the throne in a gritty, post-apocalyptic world. Whether solo or with a fellow mutant buddy in co-op mode, you can become ruler of the wasteland. Oh, and we have a new game announcement. Blambeer Arcade. It's a collection of bite-sized games which will have a growing catalog over time, starting with Ultra Buzz. Ultra Buzz is a fast-paced, high-score-centric game where you pilot a ship to fight endless space bugs that split up into more space bugs when you defeat them. But never fear. Defeating the occasional boss monsters, Ultra Bugs, will unlock enemy DNA that you can use to customize your ship. Blambeer Arcade with Ultra Bugs is coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. It's good. Spider it's up Man, the We've shot planes out of the sky, destroyed starships in outer space, and now the 2D shooting genre is going underwater. In this aquatic oh, nice. game, you'll unload a variety of weapons and power-ups in co-op mode or versus mode with one to four players or bots. This multiplayer underwater shooter comes with an oceanic amount of content with more than 150 challenges across eight game modes, including five versus game modes and five entire worlds to battle across in adventure mode. You'll be able to toggle between classic dual stick controls and motion aiming, whether you're playing locally or online. The online functions include matchmaking support, and you can engage with friends via in-game voice chat or the party system. See where you rank on the online leaderboard when Swinsanity makes a splash on Nintendo Switch this summer. 
Last one. Next up, check out the newest game from our friends at Inti Creates. Love those guys. Inti Creates and Sasa present the long-awaited sequel to the beautifully blasting action-adventure game. Blaster Master Zero is coming to Nintendo Switch. Sophia is equipped with the Gaia system. Harness SP for its weapons and abilities anytime it falls from tall height or takes damage. Build your arsenal of powerful sub weapons and blast any mutant scum that stands in your way as you traverse each stage. Jason also has some new tricks up his sleeve. He can now counter enemy attacks with a blast counter. If timed just right, they can be chained into multiple attacks that dish out lots of damage back at the enemy. It's like Master Master Zero 2. The stage is set in outer space, and there's more to explore than ever before as you travel across the galaxy to a host of different planets and their orbiting planetoids. Search for new items that power up both G Sophia and Jason. During your journey, Jason and Eve will cross paths with a motley cast of fellow metal attacker tank pilots and their support droids. Will their fellow pilots become trusted friends or bitter enemies? Meet the blasting action is back! Blaster Master Zero Two! Available today! Hey! Nice! Another today game. Thank you. Kirk, why are you upside down right now? Well, there are many theories as to why, but the true reason remains a mystery. Perhaps there's an alternate dimension within these very walls that until just recently lay dormant. Or perhaps someone flipped the camera. No one can be sure. <laughs> Satisfying Nindy's events. A couple of games dropped today. Some surprises, some first looks. It's no longer a mystery that the official game of Stranger Things Very Season cool. 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch. This retro style adventure game lets you play through and delve deeper into the events of season three alongside a friendly local co-op. Explore the town of Hawkins, solve puzzles, battle enemies, and uncover mysteries as one of 12 playable characters from the hit original series. Cancel your long weekend plans because the game arrives on Nintendo Switch the very same day as the third season on Netflix. Hey. Stranger things have happened. Good strategy. Okay, that's quite a selection of games coming soon to Nintendo Switch. But guess what? There are tons of great indie games available right now on the system. To celebrate indie games and their creators, we're running a sale on some of these fantastic offerings. From Firewatch to Yoki's Island Express, there's no shortage of games and distinctive worlds at your fingertips. Make sure to check them out on Nintendo eShop later today. On behalf of Nintendo, we'd like to thank all the indie developers that bring their incredibly unique game worlds to Nintendo Switch, and the avid players that support indie games. We are extremely grateful. Huh. Something's coming. Finally, I'm almost out of this crypt. But this isn't the world I remember. At least this guy is familiar. Wait, I think I was called here for a purpose. Looks like I've got work to do. This time, I have help. <laughs> what? Dude, what? What are you doing? Wow. Huh? 
That's pretty dope. What the heck was that? Cadence of Hyrule. Where did she come from? <gasps> what? Oh, man. What is this last game? That was cool. You've got Link. You've got Zelda playable characters. I love it. Well, good afternoon from sunny San Diego. We bring you the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Arcadian Teen Tournament. Okay. Welcome in. We're your two casters. Enjoy that was awesome. Um, let's see. That's the end of the event. We're going into other stuff right now. Okay, so I guess it wasn't quite half an hour. 25 minutes or so, but let's see. We got good game reveals. Things dropping today. A sale coming. Further evidence showing that Nintendo really cares about independent developers, which I think is awesome, giving them a chance, giving them a unique opportunity to have their games on a system fully, you know, portable and home console in one. Cuphead coming over, nice surprise. Nintendo Switch, you rock! Yeah, congratulations! We just hit two years. I'm happy. Over a thousand games on the system, I think that's fantastic. Ah, couldn't ask for anything better. Cadence of Hyrule. I'm going to have to check out that some more. When did it come out? A fall release or something? Hmm. I'm going to have to look, look up to that some more. Okay, anyways. Thanks for watching with me. I hope you had fun. Always look forward to Nintendo's videos. You know, growing up in the 80s and 90s, I'll tell you this really quick. We got video game news once a month or so, you'd have your new issue of Nintendo Power come out or Electronic Gaming Monthly, Game Pro, etc. You'd get some news. Nintendo, a couple of times a year through Nintendo Power, would shoot you a VHS tape in the mail and show off, you know, 12 minutes of Star Fox 64 footage, Donkey Kong 64 footage, Banjo Kazooie, and so forth. Um, when the internet started coming around, okay, you'd get. Uh, easier access to E3 than you did before. And you'd have companies give you some treats once in a while, some kind of press release. And then nowadays, 2011 onwards, with Satoru Iwata's direction of bringing games to the masses more of Nintendo's fans with the Nintendo Directs that we saw him and Reggie Fizame so many times deliver these Nindy showcases and so much more. Uh, even closer E3 coverage than before. Treehouse Live segments. We get so much. Try not to get too spoiled that, oh, your Animal Crossing didn't show up or, oh, your beloved game from the past F-Zero didn't get remade yet or Mother 3. Just be happy that like you're getting so much more than we did in the 80s and 90s in terms of a continuous flow of new games, new game announcements, etc. Like, it really is a treat. You could complain about something not being there, but just be happy of what is there, what you're getting, and still let Nintendo know once in a while, like, hey, we still would like to see this, you know, uh, 1080 snowboarding, an F-Zero game, you know, wave race down the road, and, you know, Nintendo listens. They they do a good job with their fans, I think. Uh, and, yeah, that's that's my little food for thought. Be happy. Look forward to this stuff. Try to stay positive. Don't get your hopes up necessarily, but just try to stay positive and enjoy it because there's a lot of good stuff coming out. Okay, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. Thanks for watching with me. See you next time.